came in the air Matt in New Hampshire, how you doing? Hey, good. How you doing? Not bad. Well, rather, I started realizing that I was an atheist around five or six. In fact, I remember that actually the afternoon uh, that I realized it. I was sitting out front in my house and um, I was, you know, praying up to the sky, and I was. I just kind of realized, wow, I sound really ridiculous doing this. There's, no, there's nobody answering me at all. Good for you. Good for you. You realize you're talking to yourself. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Exactly. Um, so on the subject of that, actually, I was wondering if you guys thought if the only thing that was true about religion was prayer, if that would be a good thing. In other words, that um, – if there was no God that existed, no special being that answered the prayer, but if you prayed and um, your prayers were answered and things were ha things that happened um, because of the prayer, would that be a good thing? Or would the selfishness and the possibility for evil prayers outweigh the good aspects of getting things done? Well, I think, I think that would infantilize us, right? We would, we would for, forever be asking mommy for whatever. But now, now we're, we're, we're just saying that there's... There's nothing necessarily behind this. You're basically talking about 100% wish granting. Yeah. I think it would destroy the universe. <laughs> I think some yeah. batshit crazy person would probably destroy the universe within the first couple well, seconds of getting know. his wishes granted. This is, this well, is fodder I mean, for science fiction is what this is. You, ha you have to set yeah. some limits somewhere, otherwise uh, it's crazy. And, and of course, <laughs> and it, would, it, would, it would make the universe um, completely immune to scientific investigation um, because, you know, people talk about whether or not you got free will of determinism. Um, guess what? The, the, you know, somebody pointed out in email, the opposite of determinism is indeterminism, and that's chaos, and it means that you cannot tell what's coming. And so you need the ability to discern what the results of your actions are going to be based on reliable data in order to make an informed decision and exercise uh, choice and free will. And right. along those same lines, if, you know, um, I, I get really frustrated at the person in the car in front of me, and I pray that, you know, they be removed from the planet and they vanish. Well, okay, great. Uh, like, but, what did I you do know, this time? now yeah. I'll probably have to bring them back someday when maybe if I'm feeling a little guilty. Meanwhile, you've got stuff vanishing and appearing and changing. And I wish the sky was red today. And I wish it was purple tomorrow. Well, it's just it was, crazy. I was, I was actually more talking about things that, you know, were, like, physically possible. Like, okay. oh, I wish my girlfriend would come back to me. Or, oh, I wish I got yeah. this job. Or okay. things like that. So, I wish my girlfriend would come back to me. And then she wishes that she could leave again. <laughs> and then I wish my girlfriend could come back to me. And then she wishes that she could okay. leave again. I understand what you're saying. Yeah. And no, it, I, yeah. it would be a buzz um, of some sort. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to get back on a video game bent, although because we talked about video games last week. Um, but my friends and I have had a big discussion about some things. And right now, um, one of the games that we play is getting, I mean, it's a super stupid easy mode where uh, there's really no, you're getting rewarded for, uh, you know, showing up. I'm a big fan of getting a reward that is proportional to the, to effort the you effort in. you put into something. And so even if we could avoid the nasty, contradictory, confusing aspects of prayer as wish granting, I still think it would be a bad thing because it would, you know, you, you learn something from the process of doing something and achieving it. Um, if I just, you know, boy, I wished we had a TV show. I mean, <laughs> if it weren't for the really well, today's I'm probably not doing very good, so it's not the best example. But if it weren't for having, or I wish, I wish I was an atheist. Okay, you are. But I never wished that. I am what I am because I wanted to be something else and found out that that just wasn't yeah, justified. You, you, you got here after some work. Yeah. Is the point. yeah. If, if, I, if wishes were granted, I'd be the best Christian possible, and I'd still be wrong. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it's a cute yeah, idea. It'd be a good good basis for maybe a science fiction story. You came in the air and every shadow filled up with doubt.